Hi there, Libra. Welcome. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a different reading. I fear let's do one for should they be trusted? Now, this could be uh, someone that you went out with, someone you dated, someone you married, someone uh, in your family, a friend, an ex friend, or someone at work, you know, someone, you know, if you, you'll know who it is. Oh, this came flying out right away. So, the first card is what is this person's intention? Seven of Wands. I think they're trying to get noticed by you. Yeah, they're trying to stand out. They're trying to stand out from the rest. If that makes any sense. Okay. Should you trust this person again? Or should you trust this person? It might be again or it might be someone different. Someone new. Knight of Swords. Well, they come in pretty quick here. They could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I think they're kind of quick and they're kind of blunt. Yeah, they move too fast for you. Let's see. What about... Will a relationship or a friendship with this person be beneficial for you? Ooh, lovers, partnership, choice. So that's a good sign. Let's see. We have the Ace of Coins on the bottom. So yeah, it could be very beneficial. It's this partnership, whatever it is, if this is a business partnership, maybe an ex-partner or something like that, they want to come back in. It looks like you'll make a good partnership. You'll make a lot of money, a new start. The same if it's a relationship. It looks like you'll be good together. As far as that card is concerned, let's see here. Let's clarify this now. What is this person's intentions? And we have the Seven of Wands. Let's see. Ooh, look at these sevens. Seven's very spiritual. Seven's also learning. Education. Choices. See, this person really sees you as having a lot of choices. And they want to be your top choice. That's the whole thing here. Their intention is trying to get you to pick them because they know that you have all these different choices. Okay. So should you trust them again, you have this um, Knight of Swords. Kind of fast and abrupt. And Okay, let's see. Ooh. I don't know. You you feel like you might get abandoned by them. Maybe they abandoned. They left you holding the bag, or whether it's a relationship or a partnership or whatever it was. You they left you out in the cold. So I don't know. You're not feeling too good about this. Let's see though. But this looks good over here. You just I don't know if you trust them. Okay. Will our relationship or friendship with them be beneficial for you? We have the lovers here. Wow. Look at these um, repeat numbers. Here's two sixes now. So, yeah, as long as there's an equal give and take, it will be. But if some person's taken more than the other, which might have happened in the past, then it would not be. But it looks like they want to work on this partnership. They want to give to it. We have here, um, this has been a burden, the separation to them. Okay, now let's see. What's the overall advice of this situation? Move these up a little bit now. Okay. Let's see. Harvin. Ooh, and we have the Knight of Cups here. So this, they might become a love offer. They might want a, a long-term commitment here. And this is this is a corporation. I think there's like a there's a possibility for long term commitment. This person wants to work on this. Like you, you're a little leery about being left out in the cold. They might have did that to you before, and but this person wants commitment. They want structure. Or if it's an organized organization, they feel you. Oh, isn't this interesting? I just noticed we have the two sevens, we have the two sixes, and we have two fives, and we have two knights. That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. So this person here, the overall advice, they, they want long term. They want organization. They want structure. Let's see. And that is, that is another knight. So this is an, another knight of cups. So they do want to offer you their love here. The knight of cups. 
I think they might surprise you. It almost feels like it's, ooh. And we have the Ace of Swords. They want to come in and speak their truth. They want a new beginning with you. And I think they want to cut out any of the bull. And they're coming in with integrity, I'm getting told. Honesty. And someone else wants to pop out here. What's this? Okay, so this is justice. Look at that. The Ace of Swords. They're coming in with the truth. And they, and they want justice. They want to balance things out. The Six of Coins here. That's to try to balance things out. They maybe wasn't balanced in, in the past. So let's see. What court cards do we have here? Okay, we're going to see what the word is for this. What's the word on this Knight of Swords? Oh, wait a minute. I still want to do... Sorry, I'm not finished here. I want to do... Um, what are their thoughts for you? Thoughts about you? Then we'll get into that. Some more questions here. It's like, I knew I was missing something. That was way too short. What are their thoughts about you? Ooh, they want to leave something come towards you. They they want to come towards you and start something new. We do a new beginning, see? They want a new beginning. Okay. Now, what about their feelings for you? Hmm, they're feeling abandoned, left out. Look at this. Five, five, five. Right in a row there. Here's another six. Wow. Let's see if we get a seven. It might be something. Oof. <laughs> okay, and this is what action might they take towards you? Eight. Okay, we skipped. <laughs> but we do have another six. Wow. Look at this. Six of cups. Yeah, they see this as a... Um, they have a lot of memories of you. They see a past life connection here. They are really heavy thinking about you here. They want something new here. Okay, now Six of Swords is they want to move away from something. They might even want to take you on a vacation or take you on a trip. That's their thought. This is what they're thinking. How can I get Libra to come with me? To go away with me? <laughs> and then their feelings are, oh boy. They're going to leave me out in the cold. Here you got the five here and the five here. The same thing. You're thinking that and they're, and they're thinking that that's what they're, you're going to do to them because they did it to you. Okay, and then we have, they want to work on this, though. we got the Eight of Coins. That's their action. Okay, let's see here. Their thoughts about you. Now, this is the King of Swords. They're not messing around. That's the energy I have here. This could be represented to you, but that this is like, they, they want to come. They want to claim you. They want they want to. They want to conquer. <laughs> They're coming in with the truth here. Okay, now, what about this five of coins for their feelings? They're feeling so left out. Ooh, the wheel of fortune, divine timing, destiny. They feel like you guys are destined to be together here. That's the feeling here. They want to make this work. Okay, now, as far as the action they're going to take, we have the eight of coins. Let's see. Ooh, they're going to protect this. They, they want to fight for you. They want to protect this connection. And we do have judgment. They know they have to, you know, face your judgment. What's going on here? They want to bring this back around. Plain and simple. Okay, now we'll go into the words. Okay, now we're going first with this um, Knight of Swords. Why do we have the Knight of Swords here? Alone. See, that's abandoned alone. Marry the ex. Did they marry their ex? Wow. Or this could say that this, this could represent your ex, the Knight of Swords, too. And they might want to get married there. They might might want to marry you. But they left you alone. Or they feel alone. Whichever way it resonates with you guys. Could be different for everybody. But someone could have married their ex too. And then they left you for their ex. And they got married to them. And that's not going to be for everyone. Thank God. Okay, let's do the um, Knight of Cups on this one. Why is the Knight of Cups here? excited caring thoughts they're excited about you they have a lot of thoughts a lot of caring thoughts i know they're, they're feeling like maybe it might work you know this 
They believe in fairies. <laughs> they believe in fairy tales. This could work. <laughs> they have to believe in the fairies. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, now this is the uh, King of Swords. Let's see about the King of Swords. Honest. Keeps the money. <laughs> Instigate. Is it? Hmm. So someone is instigating something. I almost feel like someone's instigating you to move, to move towards them, to move something. They're trying to, they're trying to make you do something here. They're trying to make you maybe go, on, maybe go on a, a vacation with them or take a little trip so they could be alone with you and talk to you. Um. They could be honest because I, I got honest right from the back when this came out. I felt this person did feel honest, but who keeps the money? Is it honest to keep the money? I don't know. Or someone instigated someone to keep the money. That could be too. Someone might have been in here. Um, instigating this person but may they were honest and they didn't keep the money hmm I don't know okay I'm gonna leave that there I I'm, I'm just gonna do people I don't have any more people on here so we're gonna go right to the the um signs here because someone complained they didn't like my doing the names so i'm going to say save the names to the very end so if anybody doesn't like the names they could click off after the signs and they'll see the whole reading except the names but thank you all i got a lot of people that submitted their names for the healing and for the and for me to read off the names that come with the letters i appreciate that guys so let's see what signs we have here aries Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Cancer. So we have Aries, Scorpio, Libra, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Cancer. This could be placements your chart. This could be placements person's chart. This could be um, other people that come into your life, they're around you, or and you don't even know what placements they have in their chart. But I just want to um, thank you guys. Please um, make sure you leave a comment or let me know if it resonates. And um, I want to thank you all for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. And if you want to get notified every time I load up my videos here, you just um, have to hit that bell. And you hit the bell, then you'll get your email notification. And, um, and for those that are leaving, thank you for being here. And I hope to see you again next time. And for the ones that want the names, here we go. R. So for R we have Rachel, R-A-C-H-E-L, Ray, Rachel, it's R-A-E-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. Raph, Ralph, Ray Ramon, Rebecca with one C, Rebecca with two C's, Rayhan, Renee, Raina, Rhonda, Ria, Ricardo, Richard, Rishma, Risa, Robert, Robin, Rose, Rosemary, Rowena, Roxanne, Ruby, Ryan, and Radhika. Radhika. I think I have an R then. Sorry, I wrote that one in. It's not on my sp spreadsheet. I mean, I put it in the spreadsheet, but I haven't printed it yet. Okay, now. J. For J, we have Jack, Jackie, Jacqueline, Jamar, Jamesy, Jamie, Jared, Jason, J, JB, Jika, Jeanette, Jeff, Janine, Jennifer, Jessica, Jesse, Joan, Joanna, Joanna, I'm sorry, Jody, Joe, Johan, John, Jordan, Jose, Joseph, Josh, Joshua, Julie, and Justin. Okay. This is a K. K, we have Karen, Carrie, Kara, Karen, um, K A R Y N, Kathleen, Kathy, K Katia, Katia, K-A-T-I-A, Katina, Kavita, K, Keisha, K, 
Kelly, Ken, Carrie, Kevin, Kimberly, Kirstine, Christy, Christina, Kyrene, Kurt, Kylie, and Kisha. K I S H A. B. For B, we have Barbara, Bob, B A U B, Bernadette, Betty, Bouchon, Blanca, Bobby, Brad, Brenda, Brett, and Bellic. Oh boy. B A H I C K. I hope I spelled that right. It will be right in the spreadsheet next time. <laughs> I just can't print it for just a few names. I have to wait and get a couple more. Okay. F. So for F, we have Fantoma, Fabian, Fabio, Falala, Fatu, Federico, Felicia, Flynn, Francesina, F R A N C E S S I N A, and Francis, Frankie, and Franny. Okay, guys, that's all the names. Do we have all? Yep, all the names is five. Okay. So, um, thank you so much for viewing this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.